this video, I will demonstrate how to make an encrypted 3D component in NCHFSS. As an example, I will be using this inset fetch patch antenna. The antenna geometry comprises of substrate, the radiating surface for radiation boundaries, the lump port, and perfect E boundary for the antenna and the ground plane. To make a 3D component, first of all, we select all the parts that we want to include in the component definition. Once the selection is made, go to draw, 3D component library, create 3D component. In create 3D component dialog, we have different tabs. In the info tab, we can provide information about the design, the name of the design, the owner, the email address, and etc. In the model tab, we can see names of all the parts that we selected initially. We can extrude these parts from the 3D component definition as well. Since we selected the entire workspace, all the boundaries and the affectation also got selected. Here we have the option to include these boundaries and excitations from the 3D component definition or we can exclude them. We'll leave this option checked for now. In the parameters window, we can see the names of all the variables that were used in this design. Again, we have the option to include these variables in the component definition or we can exclude them. For example, I will include only patch X and patch Y, while I would like to hide all the other variables. Finally, in the encryption window, if we want to encrypt the file, check encrypt file, and it asks you to set the password for this file. It also gives us the option to allow the component editing or not. We'll check this never option for now. Once we set the password, we can hide the contents of this design by going to hide show objects. Here we see the names of all the parts that constitute the 3D component and we have the option to hide those parts for example, I would like to hide the antenna geometry and the port definition, while the, all the other parts can be visible in the 3D component definition. Once the selection is made, we can go to this image tab and we can see the view of the 3D component. Once these options are set, we can click OK, save the component as an encrypted 3D model to use this 3D component, go to draw, 3D component library, select the encrypted model. Here we can see the image of the component shows only the parts that we did not hide in this component definition. To the password. Here we see all the details, the parameters, the patch X and patch Y that we included in this definition, the image of the design, and the information. Click OK. The encrypted component looks like this in our design environment. In the project manager window, we can see the excitation is included. Although it shows no boundaries are included, but the boundaries are included as per the component definition. If you go to HFSS, validation check, the 3D model, the boundaries and excitation are included in this definition. Set up the analysis setup and run the simulation.